Remember this? Uh, and I, I want to understand white rage. And I'm white. And I want to understand it. Well, are you retarded? And I personally find it offensive that we are accusing of being, quote, woke or something else because we're studying some theories that are out there. Nikki! <laughs> yeah, it's back. Joe Biden goes full on dementia, inserting CRT in foreign policy. No! I'm Jazz Braganzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Bro Gonzo here. Another What's Next weekend edition. Happy Saturday. Well, you can say a lot of things about Joe Dementia. One, he's dementia. Two, he's a riddle old man. Three, he's got a finger on a nuke, which scares the hell out of everybody. Four, he's wasting money like uh, like it's going out of style. Doesn't know what time it is. Doesn't know what color socks he had on. Doesn't know what breakfast he ate just two seconds ago. But what he does know is this, is that he seizes on opportunity and crisis. Yes, he does. Well, from putting pronouns up front and center, basically telling America bend the f over regarding his reduction act to his not giving up about the economy or the energy or high food prices or and on and on. Oh, did I mention borders on and on and on. But regarding foreign policy, he's been extremely weak ass. Ukraine anyone? Now he's shoving CRT. Yes, remember CRT? Yes, he's shoving it back in, except this time it's regarding our foreign policy. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Critical racist theory touted in Biden's administration national security strategy. There he is, demented clown. The Dementia Administration National Security Strategy, NSS, a document that typically outlines the new administration's foreign policy guidelines, principles, goals, and aspirations. A term encapsulated programs that uh, trainings based on critical racist theory, which has its roots in Marxism. Then we get rid of the shit. The NSS also calls for energy revolution and uses the term climate more times in China, or its official name, the CHICOMs. Uh, despite China being America's top long-term national security challenge and the enemy. Representative Jim Banks, Republican ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee, uh, Cyber Committee on Cyber Innovative Technologies and Informational Systems, said in a statement to Breitbart, quote, at the same time, dementia is recklessly warning of a nuclear war. Dementia's National security strategy is focused on promoting diversity and inclusion and, climate, and claims climate change is the greatest shared threat in the world. Biden's wokeness is America's weakness. The prominence of critical racist theory, which NSS is particularly unusual since the strategy documents typically focus on national security challenges, but dementia uh, suggested that trinketing our democracy where a republic was a national security imperative. Our democracy is a work in progress, and by reckoning, and remedying our own shortcomings, yes, our faults, our foibles. We can inspire others around the world to do the same. Yes, to be weak like us, follow us. In the same before it calls for election reform, a key democratic agenda and pluralism, inclusion, diversity. As Americans, we must all agree that a people's verdict expressed in elections must be represented and protected. This is why we have taken executive action and urged essential legislation to protect and promote voting rights and expand democracy. Participation is why we're building on the work of generations of activists to advance equity and resolve systematic racism in our laws, policies, and institutions, and deem pluralism, inclusion, diversity, our national core, our source of national strength in a rapidly changing world, a diversity and inclusion. We are reaffirming the rights of free speech, diversity, inclusion, free speech, peaceful assembly, and all other core civil liberties like diversity and inclusion. Did you get the message? The NSS also calls for, again, diversity and inclusion. Good God, in the U.S. military. Under the under the section, modernizing and strengthening our military. Anytime, let me say this, anytime the word modern is used for something that has always been in this day and age, it's a fun custom. Just put it out there. We will strengthen it. 
strengthening the effectiveness of the force by promoting diversity and inclusion. Fuck, man. Ahead of suicide prevention efforts, eliminating sexual assault and harassment, two major problems plaguing the military. It's also called for rooting out violent extremism. Yes, whiteness. Even though the Department of Defense own study in December found fewer than 100 cases of quote unquote extremism over the past year. Christina Wong. This is good, although the maintaining the capacity to address terrorism threats is questionable. Yes, because God forbid, you know, somebody crosses the border or, you know, I don't know, China would be a threat to the U.S. Ah. What are you, a bigot? You know it's white. Ugh. The Biden administration national security strategy only cites the promotion of, here we go again, diversity and inclusion in our own military but before suicide prevention efforts. Indeed, the NSS uses the exact phrase, good gosh, man, this is diversity, equity, inclusion when discussing the national security workforce. Uh, I got to move on. Diversity and inclusion. That's all his foreign policy was about. That's all it was. Not strengthening our military from enemies, domestic and foreign, which is when you take the oath, when you go into the military, or when you go and serve public office. No, nah, it's not about that. Basically, it continues to America over, over and over and over, like a prison rape scene. And continuing to tell countries how weak we are with a weak-ass president. I've never seen this. In my 50 plus years on this planet, I've never seen a U.S. government as weak as we are currently are. Instead of defending our citizens, protecting our borders, protecting our economy, strengthening our economy, protecting our energy resources instead of giving them out willy nilly. You know, signing over 90 plus billion dollars to a country who doesn't give two fucks about us. In a, you know, in regards to a, not a fake enemy, but an enemy that doesn't represent what China is. Yes, we are talking about Russia, of course, and Putin. But it all comes back to dementia. Dementia Joe is the worst president in the history of these United States. Hold my beer, Obama. Hold my beer, Clinton. Hold my beer, George W. And they all had their faults. Trump is no ace, but he knew when it comes to foreign policy, peace through strength, just like Reagan did. And with that being said, I'm Josh Berganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.